Wickerbottom has two books to grow crops and plants, Horticulture Abridged and Horticulture Expanded. Horti Abridged grows 10 crops and has 5 uses, while Horti Expanded grows 15 crops but has 3 uses, making it yield less produce overall, but grows stuff at a faster speed. What's great about both books now is that all plants grow to their last stage with one read rather than one stage at a time, which is amazing for plants like banana bushes and stone fruit bushes. What's even better is that if your stone fruit bush was from a sprouting stone fruit seed, you can hook it up to a lure plant and just keep reading horticulture until you fill the 15 inventory slot limit in the lure plant, then stone fruit bushes from seeds never require re-fertilization. And so long as the books are in a bookcase, they'll regenerate durability every 30 seconds, making your books a one-time investment. For crops, Horticulture Expanded has a bonus perk to it. It'll max out the nutrients in the soil, and it'll talk to the crop at every stage of life. What this means is you can get the maximum amount of seeds crops can give pretty easily, assuming you have the family, killjoy, and overcrowding stressors handled. Here's how it works. The crop is in season, you just plant the crops in the farm soil, and read Horticulture Expanded for a crop plus two seeds back. You take that crop, turn it into a seed, and you repeat that process until you've got all the seeds you want. If the crop is not in season, then you need to read her new book, Practical Rain Rituals, and then read Horticulture Expanded for a crop plus two seeds back. You don't even need to wait for the world to be wet, as the soil will auto-replenish the water as it's being grown. Once you've got all the seeds you want, you can then proceed to use them for a mega crop farming session. I have this design here with farm soil that allows you to farm up to 4 bundles worth of crops, and you can even place a dwarf star where the lightning rod is so you can grow crops during the night. What you do is, as wormwood, you plant all the seeds you want to grow in the farm plots, then you swap to wicker bottom and read horticulture expanded to force grow them. Because we're planting in farm soil and reading Horty Expanded, you will always at minimum get a crop plus one seed back, even without the rain and without a season crops that have grown one stage as you've reached the end of planting all of your seeds. You will need to wear a bone cage to make the nightmares neutral to you since whenever Wicker Bottom or Maxwell reads at zero sanity, an additional nightmare creature will spawn. Unfortunately, you can't just spam Horty because of a bug in the game that turns crops into rotting crops if you spam Horty. What you have to do is read Horty in one section of the plot, and while that small section is growing, you go to the other end and read Horty again, and you just repeat until all the crops are grown. Once you're done, you just swap characters, or relog and change shards to get rid of the nightmares, and you've got yourself an entire field that's ready for harvest. These crops won't spoil anytime soon either, since, thanks to Wormwood being the one doing the planting, they last twice as long before turning into rotting crops. What's really different pre Wicker Bottom rework is that you can farm crops at this scale at a super fast speed. You don't have to worry about making new books, since the books regenerate durability inside the bookcases. And you can grow any crop in any season, including out of season crops, or a crop in a seed back for minimal effort. A world download of my setup is available in the description below. Till next time.